Welcome back here at KSAT. We proudly support our military, the brave men and women who have served and those who continue to serve, accomplishing extraordinary things, extraordinary things rather, every day across the globe and even right here in San Antonio, Military City, USA. And San Antonio is home to a number of military installations and the service members and families that work on those bases from a very important part of our community. Jonathan Goto, along with photojournalist Stephen Thomas, have been spearheading our military coverage and our very new franchise title, Front and Center. Love the name. Guys, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here this morning. morning. Jonathan, we've already seen you this morning. Stephen, <laughs> great to have you here with us, yes. my friend. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's going to be a good interview. All right, let's, let's get the kicks things off. How did the idea of really honing in on military themed content come about? And talk to us about the name Front and Center. Well, for starters, thank you for having us, Mark and Stephanie. It's truly our pleasure to be here this morning. But, you know, the name Front and Center came after months of really brainstorming a name that made sense, that was clear, that was specific, and that would catch everyone's attention. And after a long list and a lot of emails and text messages, we came up with Front and Center. I love it. I love it. I mean, it's real, very much straight to the point, isn't it? Straight yes. to the point. And, you know, Stephen, you're behind the camera. You're in charge of, like, capturing the moments and right. visually enhancing the stories. Tell me a little bit, what's that been like, you know, following this series with Jonathan? It's been interesting, to say the least. Um, not a lot of us out in the general public know what goes on, you know, in those military installations. So to actually be in there and see what they do day to day, um, you know, when they wake up and they get ready for boot camp or they're doing their their daily workloads with the, the air crew that we, we covered. Um, it's been interesting to see, you know, exactly how it all unfolds and, you know, being able to capture that and bring it to our audience is something that I don't take for granted, but it's, it's you know, definitely a, a special special thing that we get to do. Well said. Yeah, Jonathan, we know, of course, we know you are a U.S. Navy veteran, and we've talked a lot about that in the past, and uh, especially off camera, about some of your past experiences in our service. And again, thank you for your service to our country. How has that personal experience shaped in the way you approach these type of stories? And then talk about how closely you've been working with the Air Force here. Well, thank you, Mark. You know, it's um, it's truly been a pleasure for me having had the opportunity to serve my country and um, as an enlisted member, service member. Um, I just think that we accomplish so many great things that a lot of people aren't aware of. Um, I was an aviation ordnance man, which uh, is basically a, a, per a person who is building bombs and we're loading them onto aircraft. And as we say, putting warheads on foreheads, that's a popular aviation ordnance man saying. Um, and I know that a lot of people in the civilian world have no idea what takes place. Um, and that's why it was so important for me to, to be able to tell these stories. Um, I've been working closely with the Air Force. Uh, they speak a little bit of a different language, but we still communicate the same way. I still understand the mission at hand, and I think that's what, what's made this really, really easy working with them and just kind of just the structure, that military structure that's there. It's made it very relatable. I feel very well at home when I'm visiting with them on base. Well, it's been mm -hmm. interesting to see so far. I'm, I'm with you, Stephen. I, I grew up here in San Antonio, mm -hmm. but I never knew what went on on the other side. Right. So this is really cool to see to see these stories. And you know, speaking of, what do you guys h hope that viewers will take away from covering the military community? You first. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think it's just, it goes back to, you know, every time we celebrate Veterans Day or Memorial Day and um, we thank them for their service, but oftentimes we don't know what that service is other than just service to country. There's a lot of work that goes into it and everyone has their, their specific rate their MOS or their jobs. And um, I just hope that the viewers um, really get an understanding of what that day-to-day -day life for service members looks like when they you know, clock in for work every day. What's a takeaway for you, Stephen? My grandfather was, was Air Force. And um, he's retired, uh, he, well, he, was, he, served, he did his, his time in the Air Force, but I never even knew what he did. So to see this kind of gives me a glimpse of like, you know, this is the military tie that I have with him. So it's interesting to see, you know, and thinking about what he did back then and see how far technology has brought us to where we're at now. So it's interesting to see the, the advances and the things, the equipment that they have there and to really kind of just be inside of it, like the pressure chamber. It was the first one here in San Antonio that they just, I think it was out of 10 nationally that they have. Um, we have the first one here in San Antonio. So to go inside of it, to see how it is and how it operates, to think, you know, my grandfather's time, I don't think they had that back then. 
So to see how far we've come and, and to show that to our audience, I think is, is a unique perspective that we get to you know, encapsulate. There's a lot of stuff that happens only in San Antonio out of the entire country, and I think that's fascinating. Well, we look forward to more of your stories. I can't think yes. of a better team uh, to <laughs> yeah. do front and center. And again, we love the title and are, are looking forward to more uh, storytelling here in Military City USA. Jonathan, Stephen, thank, thank you. Guys. you. Yeah, thank you for Great sharing the series. Have a good weekend. Happy 4th. Yes. Happy 4th. <laughs> thank you very much.